craft fair co-worker um, teacher gift series so um, nuggets Hershey nuggets are one of the best sellers at craft fairs I'm going to show you three ways that you can wrap these little cuties up and sell them rather quickly pack them up and um, get them together pretty quickly as well easy and fun and then um, you can try these so I'm using the Hershey's Nugget Assortment there's three four different kinds this is a family bag I got it at my local grocery store not even like a Walmart or Sam's Club or Costco you know bulk store it's just like the grocery store for six dollars so you get a, a pound bag so Lots and lots of nuggets in there. And then I'm using some paper I got from Hobby Lobby. It's Paper Studio. Snow Day. It's just Christmas paper. I'm also using the leftover of my Target um, stickers. These were glitter stickers from the Target dollar bin. I'm using some twine also from the Target dollar bin. You need scissors, some, um, some type of adhesive. And then I'm also using uh, these Michaels celebrated bags, it's pretzel bags, you get 20 bags in here, and I believe, I um, got these with a, with a coupon, so they were $2 and some change, but I think regular price, they may be $3.50 or something like that, but you get 20 bags in here, so if you're planning on making a lot of these, it's a good buy, but if you don't have these, I'm going to show you just a regular old paper and cardstock and chipboard way to do it as well. All right, so the first one we're gonna make is, let me reach over here, this cute little sweetie. Oh, it says, oh, what fun. It's part of that sticker collection. I just backed it up on white cardstock, and it's a cute little holder. Very quick, so here we go. So you're gonna start out, let me get all my little items here, with your Hershey Kisses, and then you can you can, um, oops, sorry, I dropped my piece of paper. What I was going to say was some of these things you can vary, but this particular one would look odd if you use less than four, but you can definitely make it bigger. Okay, let's get back settled here. So I'm using four Hershey Kisses, and then you'll need to wrap them because you want them to look cute. Okay, and I just chose two different color cross dots. You can use the same. You can use four different ones. Um... So the measurements for this is one inch by three and one fourth inch. So I'm just grabbing one of them. At the end, I'm going to put both ends. I'm going to put one piece of ATG tape. That would then go all the way. Right, right. Take your Hershey Nugget, plop it on the back in the center, and then just carefully wrap it around. Done. Okay. See how quick you can watch TV or, you know, watch YouTube or something and just do this mindlessly. It goes by really fast. Put it in the middle. Kind of uh, mold it with your hand as you go along. Really quick. Now, if you want to cover more of your chocolate, I would suggest doing one and one quarter inch wide instead of one inch but I like some of the edges to show so I just did one inch by three and one quarter very easy so that's done and then you want to take a light a piece of light pe piece of lightweight chipboard that's three by three and then two pieces of pattern paper or whatever paper you're going to use to cover up this chipboard the chipboard that I'm using is cereal box weight chipboard. It comes in like, um, for me, it comes in package, packages at the bottom of boxes to, to keep it sturdy. And you want to do the front and back. Again, this was a 3x3 three three square. cover three by three square and then I'm going to take off a little bit of this extra make it even don't be driving me crazy so um, the next thing you want to do is take a piece of 
well for this if you're doing it how I did it I backed this up on a little bitty piece of white car st stock this you don't have to do this part if you don't want to but I'm going to so it's one inch by um, again one inch by three and one quarter or one inch by three inches sorry and I'm just going to add tape to the back of that now this is the step you don't have to do you could also pop this up it was this would look cute if you wanted to pop that part up on a dimensional to make it distinct and then this is um, an eighth inch shorter than the one by three so it would be seven eighths by two and seven eighths and then you just want to center that okay and then you can you can either add tape tape like this I just put an X on it using my ATG guide layer it on there or you can just add your two strips directly on which for me goes faster and I just did it opposite press okay I'm going to take my sticker here from that target dollar spot and took the backing off put it on a piece of scratch white cardstock this is the end and I'm just going to cut around it you can leave a border if you use the stickers it's an easy way to use stickers because you can get them from the dollar store and you get a lot of Christmas stickers it's an easy way to make you some really quick tags so just a little tip there. Use the scratch paper to back it up so it's not sticky. Get my hole punch. Punch a hole. I got my twine here. And thread it through the twine. First, first I'm going to thread it on the paper. So I just wanted to make it look like a little Christmas gift. So I put the twine through there. Crossed it to the front again, and I tied it in a knot. Now here you can put a little tag, a little note, or what have you. I tied it in a knot, but it stays. Then I took my tag, thread one piece through, and then tied a knot here. And then a quick bow. Oh dear. Well, maybe not a quick bow. Now you, of course, you can use ribbon or what have you. Like I said, all these things are cheap to get. So, there you have it. Just pull that down a little bit. Now you can always add a pop dot or something on here to hold that if you'd like, but there we go. Super quick and easy. Great co-worker, teacher, craft fair item. Really cute. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one we're going to do is this really cute um, package. So it's a little more um, like a present. You don't know what's in it. What is it? What could it be? It's cute. It's a... Um, they can just rip this off. It's a belly band. You can rip it off, you can take it off. And it has cute little, three little nuggets tied on the, on the back there. So, of course, you can decorate this as much as you want. But I'm guessing if it's for a craft fair, you want to get in, get out, and get it done as quickly as possible. So, get my nuggets again. I'm doing this from start to finish so you guys can see how easy it is. One, two, three. I'm missing a strip and I know that's not it. Hang on a second. I must have dropped one. I'm going to cut another one here. Again, these strips are... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Alright. 
So, um, where was I? Oh, these strips, I'm going to measure them. They are three and a quarter by one, again, same thing. Tape on both ends. Put this in the middle. Wrap it around. Easy peasy. You can do some of these on your lunch break. <laughs> Go home, you didn't work at work, come back home, you got half of your crafts fair stuff done while you're at lunch. That's what I like to do. Good night. Wrap it and then the last one. Cute. I love how that looks. I only needed three. Okay, yeah, you only need three. I just got carried away. That's why I had that's why I had three there. Alright, I'm not going that crazy. So if you have the top note die, or a top note die, or whatever die, just take a little die. This die happens to measure about four and a half by uh, a little bit shy of three or three quarters. So what I'm gonna do is center this. So right where this uh, points are, I'm going to center it right there at the five and a half mark. And then I'm going to score it at five and a quarter, and then five and three quarters. So, sorry, I keep dropping stuff. Essentially, you're putting um, a half inch gusset. Uh, you're putting a half inch gusset on your die cut. So I just want to fold over those score marks like so and get this cute little box there. Again, determine which way, oh I like that cover, that's pretty. Take your ATG and I'm going to add them to the back this time here. I'm just adding an X. Butterfingers today. Put that there. The first one that I did, I added it directly on there and I had to keep shifting them, but at least this way I know that I can place them where I want and not have to worry about leftover tape residue. Super cute. Alright, the belly band is um, six and a half by one inch. Okay, we're going to bring out this score tool again. So six and a half by one inch, you want to score it at two, two and a half, four and a half, and five. Easy enough. Fold those over. At one end, you want to add tape. So if you want to figure out which end you want that to be, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to add a little tape there. And then I'm going to have that end with the tape facing down so it goes underneath. So just in case you had a preferable side. See? That fits on there like that. And then you want to, I'm going to add um, a little sticker on the top. I'm going to add this Happy Christmas. And then I'm just going to cut around it. And I'm doing a wonky cut because these stickers are kind of a wonky design. So it works. All I'm going to do is flip it over. 
Add some tape. This would work with hot glue too. Probably, probably even better. Stick that right in the center. Or for me. You can do what you prefer. Add as much embellishments as you want. But look how cute that is. And the recipient would... Oh, so cute. Thank you. You can even put a little note up here. Or hang, it, hang the note off of um, this tag. Super cute. Alright. And the last one is this cute one which is the most common mine is like I said simple and basic um, but you can decorate as lavishly as you'd like okay so I'm gonna get my nuggets and I got my four pieces of paper and you just want to do the same thing to these nuggets now with this particular one with this bag it's super long like it's um oops. the bag is really long I cut mine because I only wanted to put four nuggets in there but the bag is really long so the more nuggets obviously the more nuggets you keep the less I mean the more nuggets you put in there the less you'll be able to get out of the bag so I know some people put eight nuggets in there but I'm just doing four four seems like a cool number and I can get more individual packages out of it that way. And this last one. And again, the measurements for the nugget covers are one by three and three quarters. Okay. The next thing is this um, extra paper that you're going to use as a carrier to hold the nuggets in. This cute little box. This is cut at two and a quarter by four. And then you just want to score a half an inch on both sides. Fold those over. You want to grab your bag, and then put your nuggets in there. I just ripped the bag by accident, but I'm not using this whole bag anyway. So, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. The little, the little package comes with a twist tie. Okay. And then I just used a little bit of twine around here. First thing I do, I'm going to tie it in a knot to secure it. Then this paper is actually from the paper collection. Look how cute this little thing is. I'm going to punch a hole in it. And then I'm going to just thread it through. Tie it in a quick knot. So you can use some bigger ribbon and things like that. And then cut the top off as you see fit. And there we have it. Isn't it adorable? So there you have it. You have three ways that you can dress up your Hershey nuggets for your craft fair, teacher gift, or what have you. All right. Thank you guys for watching the second video in this craft series. Be sure to leave a comment or if you have any questions, let me know. I will put a link in the description box to the first video. And if you do like this video, decide to use it, please thumbs up. Follow me on any of the social medias. I look forward to hearing from you there. Thanks guys so much for watching. Bye.